Hi Aquarius, happy February. How are you guys? Hope you're doing well. So I feel like February is an informative month that we're all gonna get um, some type of information um, that's going to allow us to be able to, to start to initiate at least the beginnings of a plan on, on where, what direction we wanna take our lives, what we wanna do with that information, whether we consider that information to be bad or good. It's, it's information, having more information than no information is always better anyways, because then at least you, you know what you can kind of start to see what you wanna do going forward. So let's take a look at your key card, Knight of Swords. There's that clarity coming in. I move forward with my desires to find freedom from my limiting thoughts. As I take these steps of faith, I allow creative solutions to rise to light my path. I have the strength and desire to explore new ideas. I use those ideas to build and create a masterful map for my destiny. Interesting, Aquarius. You guys might actually have some clarification or news coming in that allows you to to be able to start you know the process of, of moving on to to a different solution right maybe you thought okay well this is what i'm going to do this is my path and then something comes along and disrupts that whole thing and that door just slams closed in your face well there's a reason for that <laughs> There's a reason for it because there's a different path or direction that you need to be going. And, um, you know, I, I've had that situation in my life before Aquarius where, you know, I'm, I'm usually the type of person who, you know, when I really put my mind to something, I can pretty much accomplish anything that I want to as long as I put that drive and that willpower power behind it. Now, however, there have been... <clears throat> A couple times in my life where I've tried really hard to manifest something and it just doesn't happen no matter what I do or how much effort or time or you know everything that I put into it and it's frustrating because I'm used to getting my damn way <laughs> you know? when I really want something when I'm really striving for something I'm used to to being able to accomplish that what I realized in these times in my life, as frustrating as it was that I wasn't able to get anywhere, no matter how hard I tried, was because eventually I realized that wasn't the direction that I was supposed to go in. And lo and behold, something happened or information came in that completely changed my direction, right? That's almost like when we're being specifically led by universe in a different direction so it makes it impossible that we can go in the direction that we thought we wanted to go in and then all of a sudden a different opportunity or something completely different that was unexpected comes in and takes our life in a completely different direction and so i do feel like if you guys have been feeling stagnant or you're trying to accomplish something or you're trying to get something done and you feel like you're you're not able to do that, it could very well be, Aquarius, that you are not meant to do that, that something else is preparing and in the works coming in to be the direction that you should be going in. Let's take a look at your cards. King of Pentacles. This is the master of the, the suit of Pentacles, and, and this person is very, very capable of manifesting fulfillment and prosperity for themselves, right? This is someone who's got a plan. This is someone who, who can really manifest things in regards to financial aspects, property aspects, career aspects, health aspects. Underneath that, we've got the Queen of Rods, another court card coming up in your reading so far. The Queen of Rods is someone who, who initiates action through creativity and passion. She's not afraid to be in the spotlight. She's not afraid to speak her mind. She's definitely a self-assured starter, go-getter. Page of Cups. 
this is a message, a message coming in. Now the cups have to do with in, in regards to to emotions. So there's some type of emotional message coming in, some type of of offer or revelation coming in in regards to emotions. Let's see what else is around this card. Hmm. Five of Pentacles. I call this the destitute card. This is a card of feeling abandoned or left out in the cold, not able to, to financially support yourself, struggling financially, struggling career-wise, financial-wise, health-wise. But there, there's another side to this card, Aquarius, and uh, this is all kind of really about how you take this perspective, right? Because even if you're feeling alone in a situation, you're feeling like you're not able to do what needs to be done, uh, you know, you could always ask for help. <laughs> Aquarius, these people could turn around. That's a church behind them with lit windows, and they could simply go in there and get warm and ask for help and, and probably be given the help that they need. But they're, you know, they're kind of in this frame of, of mind, like that kind of victim mentality, like, woe is me, you know, I'm destitute, I'm never going to be able to get out of this situation. Hmm. The emperor, you definitely have the ability to get out of the situation, Aquarius. <laughs> the emperor is the master of his own domain. He calls the shots. He has a plan. He looks at the whole situation. He's the architect of his life. He's the designer. And not only does he do this to, 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 to do these things to, to help himself, but he also has a kingdom to run, right? He holds all of the, the, the world in his hands. The options are his. He just he has to make the decisions, right? It's a very big responsibility, but you definitely have the ability to do it, Aquarius. Wow. Ace of Cups. Again, someone coming in and offering a, a message of emotional support to you this month, Aquarius. An opportunity for emotional fulfillment. You guys have some type of message coming in this month that's going to relieve you of this burden. If some of you have been feeling like this, if some of you have been feeling like you're not able to, to manifest what you want in your life and that you're just kind of stuck, you have the opportunity and, and the ability coming in in the month of February to produce the results that you want. And it might not be exactly how you expected it to come in. <laughs> it's interesting that I talked about that like earlier in the video about how sometimes we try so hard at something and it's just not happening. And it's just like, oh, woe is me. Like this is not going anywhere. I try so hard, I work so hard, I'm not getting anywhere. And then boom, something comes in that changes the whole dynamic. And I do feel like you are going to get some kind of clarification or information in the month of February that's going to change your direction, that's going to change your mindset from being, oh no, I can't do this and I have no money or I'm destitute or I can't get healthy or I can't, you know, I just can't, 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 stuck, 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 to all of a sudden becoming the king of pentacles someone who is able to come up with the, the, the idea. Someone who, who all of a sudden has mastery over his, his, his property, his finances, his career, his health. <laughs> and also, like I said, with that, that queen of rods energy, go get her, get it done passion, excitement, action. Hmm. Yeah. You guys are definitely, you definitely, <laughs> 
whatever you're, if you, like I said, if you're feeling like kind of down on your luck right now, or just feeling like no matter how hard you're working, uh, you know, it just doesn't, it doesn't, nothing comes to fruition, things are about to change for you. <laughs> if you feel like you don't have any control over the direction of your life, Aquarius, let me guarantee you that things are about to change for you. Yes. You will start feeling like you have control, like you have the power to manifest your dreams. There's a change that comes in. And it comes with emotional fulfillment as well, the opportunity to, to feel good about what you're doing and <laughs> to choose a new direction with the Two of Rods. Yeah, it's all about your mentality, Aquarius. You can choose to be stuck and say, woe is me, or you can have a, a, you know, a, an energy of looking ahead and, and choosing what direction you wanna go into there's new opportunities coming in for you to be able to go in a different direction. You don't have to stay stagnant. You can choose to be forward moving and progressive and look towards the future and take control back of your life. You don't have to keep on continuing to do something that doesn't work and hasn't been working. You can make the choice to go in a different direction. You can make a choice to take control back. Let's take a look at your postcard from Spirit. Let's see if there's any guidance for you. I just feel like I'm I'm feeling a spark of init initiation for you, Aquarius. It's almost like the right timing. the right time, the right opportunity, the right offer to spark that initiation. I'm going to read your key card again to you because I just caught sight of the first sentence here, Aquarius. I move forward with my desires to find freedom from my limiting thoughts. <laughs> Crazy cards. That's, I, I really do feel like that has a lot to do with it, Aquarius, is, is, is the thought process that you're having, that kind of like victim mentality where, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to get out of the situation. I'm never going to be able to go anywhere. And this is you deciding in the month of February, you know what? I'm sick and freaking tired of that. I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to be in this situation anymore. It's time to take control again and move forward towards what is emotionally fulfilling and what is, you know, being security minded, building my empire. This is not cutting it. As I take these steps of faith, I allow creative solutions to rise to light my path. That's that queen of rods energy, creative solutions, initiation, drive. I have the strength and desire to explore new ideas. That doesn't, that's not what you're doing right now. It's something new. It's something different, Aquarius. I use those ideas to build and create a masterful map for my destiny. That's that emperor card coming in. <laughs> that is literally someone who takes a look at the map and says, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to do this. And this is going to be the result. Let's see your postcard from Spirit. Dear you, the simple yet powerful law of cause and effect means everything is in relationship. Every action on earth has a consequence, and even in the spirit world, there is a consequence for every action taken on your behalf. Right now, you're facing conditions that were set in motion by past decisions. Consequences are coming into being in your favor. They will remind you that making good choices and listening to your intuition pay off. If some things are a little off and uncertain, know that whatever you are facing, you can step beyond it. And just by using your imagination and acting on that instead of reacting to what is being presented. Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberations in the web of life. 
move to higher ground and have faith that what goes around comes around. The universe is always self-correcting anyway. Isn't that amazing how we adore you? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, Aquarius. The law of cause and effect. Hmm. Things are really starting to come into motion for you guys where you're going to be able to, to get out of that woe is me mentality and just move into a, a, a new, higher perspective that allows you to be that go-getter and that creator that you are, Aquarius. Embrace it. I'm interested to see what happens with you guys in the month of February. Love you. See you next time.